And that's why we call them Dawagandists. And we Christians come down here in the park to challenge them because they're targeting families like yours, they're targeting children like your boy. We see on the Dawagandist videos, Christian after Christian, not being able to give an answer. There are Christians that have come down here equipped to give the answers to their questions. And for two years, we debated them. Two years, I debated all of his friends. We beat them in every argument. And for the last three years, they boycotted us because they're losing the debate. Peace be with you. God bless. Go on, sister. Nice to meet you, sister. Go on. from Syria. Okay. And live in America and visit England. So I have I had a question and I didn't know how to answer correctly. Sure. So the question is God is Trinity. Yes. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit are equal in knowledge. Sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Are equal in knowledge and uh, power yep. and uh, everything. Yeah. Right? So when they ask Jesus, yep. when is they feel me, you've got to accept yeah. him. When is the hour? It's okay, it's good for the community. That's fine. Just just try to stand yeah, like that. that. He doesn't want to be on film, bro. Yeah, he's filming as well. No, no. Go on, ask your question. Look, guys, 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 me and her are having a conversation. She wants to ask me a question. Let's all respect the lady. Let her ask her a question. Go on. When is the hour? He said no one knows when is the hour yeah. except for the Father. Yeah. So how come Jesus, the Son, said I don't know the hour? So I'll answer that exact question for you. Please. Because the Dawagandists that come to this park, they, are, they, they, they refuse to debate people like me. Uh -huh. If you took me to the person that asked you that question, I guarantee they'll run away. Okay, I'll guarantee. He's debating actually with my son. If I go over there, he'll say he doesn't want to debate me, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. But let, let me answer this, let me answer that question for you. Jesus Christ is God and possesses the full knowledge of God. Yes. Jesus Christ takes to himself a humanity and that humanity limits the attributes of God. Limits the attributes of God. God. Yes. Okay. So when Jesus Christ was a human, he Form. doesn't have... But he Let was... me finish. Because okay. the way you phrase this is very technical. Okay. Right? So Jesus Christ takes to himself a humanity and the humanity limits the attributes of God. Jesus Christ has, he possesses the knowledge but he doesn't have access to the knowledge. Now, let me give you an example, because as a human being, you've actually experienced exactly what I'm talking about. Remember that time that you went home, you put down your keys to your car or the keys to the house, then the next day you needed to leave the house and you couldn't find your keys. And you start tearing the house to pieces, looking for the keys, you can't find them. And in frustration, you make yourself a cup of coffee. And then while you're pouring the coffee, boom, you remember where the keys are, you go and pick the keys up straight away. You always had the knowledge, didn't you? It was always there in your mind, but for a moment you couldn't access it. So when Jesus Christ became a human being, the humanity could not access the full knowledge of God. Could not access the full knowledge of God. And so Jesus truthfully says, as a human being, because he's taken on the form of a man, the Father, the, the, only the Father knows, nor the Son, nor the angels. Because the knowledge that he had access to was connected to his mission, to the things that he came to reveal. And that was not one of the things that he came to reveal. As God, as God, he knew all the languages of the world. But do you think he ever spoke English? As God, he knew all the languages of the world. Do you think he ever spoke French? Do you think he explained Einstein's theory of relativity? He had it with him. He possessed it. It was there, humanly. It was there in that person walking around. But his human mind did not have access to the divine mind in an uncontrolled manner. They limited the access to the divine information. Does that diminish his No doesn't divide the divinity, doesn't diminish the divinity. 
Doesn't diminish the divinity. Let me explain why. Have you got a coin? There we go. Here's a coin. Right. Here we've got a coin. This is a cent from what country? From the America. US, US cent. So here we've got a copper coin, right? And we've got a, a head side and a tail side, right? If I scratch this side, fair enough, that's all right. If I scratch this side, the head side, have I scratched that side? No. Have I scratched the tin that it's made of? No. Think. Have I scratched the tin that it's made of? I've scratched the tin, but have I scratched that side? No. No. Right. So Christ is a singular person with two natures, a divine nature and a human nature. That, in my analogy, that person is the tin that this coin is made of. It's the material that goes on this side and goes on this side. The humanity is one side and the divinity is another side. If I scratch this side, I've affected the tin, I've affected the person, the person is affected. But the divinity is not affected. But it's still there in the same person. Like this is still in the same, with still the same material of both sides. So it doesn't diminish his divinity for him to not know as a human. But here's where he is a hypocrite. Right, here's where he's a hypocrite. Because in Islam, they have a belief that Al that's just your coin, nearly put it in my pocket. Yeah, you can take the boy out of the council estate, but you can't take the council estate out of the boy. So here, here's the thing. Here's why, here's why you're, that guy debating your son is a liar. And he's a lie to you. And maybe you want to, maybe we go back and challenge him. I would love to. Right, let's I mean, go. Listen, listen, listen. In a lovely way. <laughs> no, wait, wait, this is the thing. We Christians, we have to lose our meekness. Like, the, 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 we're dealing with these kinds of people. We have to confront them. In his religion, he believes that the glory of Allah is restrained behind a veil that Allah created. Now, the glory of Allah is one of Allah's attributes. And if that attribute was left just to be free, it would burn up the whole of creation. But Allah veils it behind a veil. So he creates this veil and this veil restrains his glory from burning creation. So in other words, he believes that an attribute of Allah can be restricted by a created thing. But then he says to you that when you believe it, it doesn't make sense. But he believes exactly the same thing. So shall we go and stand with your son and see if we can help him? I, I love to do that. Let's, let's yeah. go and stand with your son. Yeah, come. How are you doing, bro? I felt I didn't answer you the right way about the question because I felt like I'm kind of weak in it. But here's the guy who has the real answer, and he answered me, and I felt very convinced about the hour. So he said that you would not convert him. Why is that? And we've got a camera as well. He has, he has made statements about Muslims in, on camera that, that, that will agree with. Now, now ask him to show you. See what what against, happened, brother? Yeah. I take it you're this. Like is your your mum came and talked to me about the kind of arguments that he's been using on you? On me? The, 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 in your conversation with him, the kind of questions he's been asking you, and the, the conversation you've been having with him today, that he had with your mum, that he had with your mum. So the conversation that you, you the, the, so the kind of conversation that he used with your mum is a very easily answered question. But people like him, they target. Right, so the, so the first thing that I need to, the, the first thing I pointed out, well, it was actually the last thing that I pointed out to your mum, is that the question is a disingenuous question because Muslims believe, and it says it in their texts, in their books, that the glory of our face is hidden behind a veil. And Muslims believe that that veil is created. We're talking about an Islamic text. Are we reading this off the Quran? No, we're reading it out of a, a hadith. A hadith that is re respected and accepted by Muslims. Okay. But let me ask you a question. Yeah. So, do you want me to do you want me to finish this conversation? Can I just ask my mom a question? Can I ask a question, mom? Yes, go on. I, I, I have to be honest a little bit. 
I saw you talking to that woman over there, and I felt like you were doing a little bit of uh, mental gymnastics. Like, not mental gymnastics in the sense of, oh, you were trying to, 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 to oh, uh, not look at her point of view at all. I think you were using more verbal gymnastics of, oh, so what, just, where, what was the gymnastics? Could you give me what exactly the gymnastics I were? Just, it just kind of felt like when you were talking to her, she would bring up a point, right? And then you'd be like, oh, this is how you guys are in general. But you wouldn't ever say... What, like, what part of the conversation are we talking about, though? Just consistently throughout the conversation. So I was in and out. I'm, exactly. Yeah. So you were in and out. So like honesty. Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Why would you, I lie, you know? Of course. I, 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 I'm not saying that you're lying. I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about no, what. that's what I'm saying. What's your name, bro? Why well, he assume I th I'm saying he's lying. It's not a debate. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. That's why he does it. He didn't say it. But but now 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 but I I'm having a conversation. I'm going to stand with this mother and her children. That's my aunt. Yeah, that's fine. Don't but do the no, same no, thing you do no, with No, no, no. She invited me. She invited me, bro. I know, I know, I know. I bro, know, I know, she invited me. I know, I know. It's fair, it's fair. So but just don't. I know the, no, the way bro, you do the talk bro, conversation. Don't, bro, you don't. Bro, don't do it the same way bro, you talk to her bro, because that was bro, very disrespectful. You, bro, you have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. You you jumped into a conversation. No, you're, you're, no, I'm just having a conversation, bro. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. You jumped into something. You jumped. Yes, you are wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. And I will have an honest conversation with you. But obviously, if you're going to stand there and you're going to say something, I'm going to defend. So I want to. I want to stay in this conversation. Yeah, because this is where you. But he wants to continue with the Muslim guy. I doesn't feel like this is not the way. No, I genuinely. But but no. So we're just gonna let him <laughs> talk to your son. Your son doesn't strike me as able to answer these questions. So I want to I want to give I can't I can't help you anymore at the moment because you're asking me not to and you won't let me help you. But here's my card, right? Here's my channel. Here's my email. Yeah. These right? Yeah. But my advice to you, my advice to you, right, is because this guy is going to villainize me to your children, he's going to build a rapport, he's going to be funny. Yeah. Right. But if ever you need to, I'm happy to get a Zoom call and talk with all of them. Yeah. But if you're asking me to go away, I'll go away. But I, I am willing to stay here and try and help because I don't think you'll, I don't think your your relatives are going to be able to take this guy on. He comes here year after year to target Christians all the time. No, 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 no. We're not fighting. It's not a fight. It's not a fight. It's not a fight. But the thing is, these guys they come here, they target people. They, they target tourists. These guys target tourists. Question. Can you please, no. we're, we're Christians are we Shrikians, huh? Yeah. yeah. No, we're Shrikians, we deserve to be killed. In I tried why to we, why are you live in the Shrikian country? Yeah. That's the question. We deserve to be killed. Where do you get this? Yeah. No, we're Shrikians, we're Shrikians. We're Shrikians, right? Because, you know, it's a little bit like that. You know what, we're Shrikians. Yeah. We're right. I know, you might disagree. Can I, can I just say, though, that if you... I want to encourage you to to challenge within your relatives this attitude that Christians have to be passive in the face of bullies because I'm trying to help and, and that's fine like if they don't want my help I'm not going to force it you know and you've asked me to step out so I'm going to step out in uh, uh, yeah, because you've asked me to but, but my point but my point is my point is if they if you disempower them to stand with strong Christians who have been taking on these guys for five years then six years then that means then that means then that means like the, they are excluding themselves from the opportunity of help there's nothing about the Christian faith that says that we have to be meek and doormats in the face of people that come here and attack our religion every single week and they target tourists like you why, why they are excluding you? Why they are crucifying you? He didn't answer. And if you, who he didn't the answer. Text, because when the person the is asking yeah. for What's just to ask, not to know the truth, yeah. then there is no need to answer. But when Christ went into the temple uh -huh. and he saw them desecrating the temple, he created a whip and he drove them all That's out. Right. These pe you, you and I are the temple of God. And these people are targeting Christians. It's not, it's not like all Muslims are doing this. The Muslims in this park, like this man, come here every week to target tourists. They target to tourists. And then when Christians come down to challenge them, 
You see how they, he villainized me? He said, oh yeah, he says nasty things about Muslims. But the thing is, they only target tourists because they know that tourists don't have the answers to their clever questions. But when we have clever questions, when we can answer, then they don't want to debate us. They don't want to debate us, you see? And, 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 and I, want to, I want to say, sister, and I say it with love, and I say it with respect. Me and you have had a nice conversation, yeah? I say it with love and I say it with respect that, that as Christians, we do not have to be passive against our oppressors. It's not, it's not more spiritual to be passive against those that attack our faith. Yeah? Now, now if, if I, yeah. I can give you a history lesson if you want, bro. I can give you a history lesson. I, yeah. The thing is, like, you're from Syria. You need to teach him the history of what happened to the Christians in Syria, because Christians in Syria were oppressed under Islam. The, but he doesn't know that. He thinks it's funny. He thinks when I said it, he was shocked, which means he doesn't know the history. Yeah. So they, yes. somebody gave a name, and I'd be like, okay, we call you Bob. Yeah. Wait, do they call you actually yeah. Bob the Builder? Yeah, I'm nicknamed Bob the Builder, yeah. Whoa. I didn't choose it, by the way. Whoa. So what happened was, I had a debate with one of the Dawagandists here in the park What's called Mansour. He's, he's someone who comes, like, I'm an evangelist, so like I'm... In a, in, a, in, a, in a, not trying to paint it in a way, just like a... I'm literally just way. answering a question. You'll hear more if you interrupt less. Good. Seriously, brother, wow. seriously. Uh, seriously, brother. Tough. Like, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. Listen, brother. Wow. Easy, right? Easy. An evangelist. So I'm here. I no, no, but but being Jesus is not like about Sometimes being meek and mild. Yeah. Okay. I don't yeah. think being no. Jesus is about being meek. Church Can I answer your question? No, 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 do you want me the to church, answer your question? Yeah, church, I don't care about much. Okay, yeah, this yeah, is the point. Yeah. Like, if you say you don't care about it, yeah. then why do you want to hear the answer? No, no. I'm just don't care about what I was going like talking about just now. So let me. I'm going to answer your question very quickly. So a Dawagandist like this is an evangelist like me. Don't, don't I come don't. here, I come here. What are you? So you, 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 uh, decide, you decide what I'll you want. I'll tell you, right? I'll tell you, tell you and then you can because tell him. You believe what so you believe. I, so I, I come here as an evangelist <laughs> to spread the yeah, Christian yeah. faith. Yeah. A Dawagandist so like, is someone who comes to spread yet. Islam. So Islamic they're called Dayi. And the activity of spreading Islam is called Dawah. And so we Christians, we call them Dawagandist. Yeah, because they lie about Christianity. They lie about Christians. He's even lied about me to your son and to your nephew, your, 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 your relative. He was lying about me to them. And that's why we call them Dawagandists, right? And we Christians come down here in the park to challenge them because they're targeting families like yours. They're targeting children like your boy. They target people like you. And Christians, we see on videos, on the Dawagandist videos, we see Christian after Christian not being able to give an answer. It's not your fault. No one is blaming you. But because through no fault of your own, you can't give answers. There are Christians that have come down here equipped to give the answers to their questions. And for two years, we debated them. Two years, I debated all of his friends. And we beat them in every argument. You'll see the evidence on my channel. We beat them in every argument. And for the last three years, they boycotted us because they're losing the debate. And that's exactly why when you brought me over here, he was so confident to talk to you, so confident to talk to your son, so confident to talk to another juvenile, but when I come, he runs. Yeah? But being meek and mild in this situation is not appropriate. Love protects. Remember, love protects. I'm a juvenile. Just take it easy. I'm a juvenile. But love protects, brother. Love protects. Bob, Bob. Yes, go on. You're a legend in our house. Thanks be to God. Uh, could I ask you a favor say hello to my dad, Miles? Hello, Miles. I hope that you're well and that you're blessed, that you're healthy. And uh, I, I, I pray uh, God's blessing on you. Thanks very much. Yeah, here you go, bro. Thank you so much. That's my channel. Take care. What was the question? Uh, so the question the lady, no, the question that the, the question that the lady asked is what this brother asked the lady. So she asked him, and what he's doing is he's trying to establish a rapport because if you can entertain someone, it lowers their guard. And this is how they manipulate children in the park. He is literally. He really is. He really is. He really is. Ask your mo ask your relative it's about. Not mom. Uh, well, I, I said ask your relative. Yeah. You see, got to listen, bro. <laughs> ask your relative. Ask your relative 
how the Christians of Syria were persecuted by the Muslim caliphates. Okay. Ask that, her that question. All well and good and all that stuff. But when I, I said, thing, when I said, guy, when I, I, I brother, Bro, no, I called you a juvenile. I didn't call him a juvenile. And you know me less than you know him. How old are you? I'm just sitting here less. How old are you? I'm not even <laughs> There you go. You're a juvenile, bro. It's not yeah, an insult. Yeah. It's like me saying I'm an adult. It's not an insult. Are they Christian? Yeah, they're Christian. Right. What's the issue? You're Christian Well, I mean, the thing is, this this guy here was targeting some Christian youth in the park, and this this sister came to me because he had asked her a question about Christ that she couldn't answer, and so I answered the question uh, for her, and then she invited me to come and join the conversation to talk to him while he was talking to her son.